And then I guess one final irony to point out here is you've all, <clears throat> historically, almost everybody here has heard in seventh or 11th grade American history, government or college, this famous story of the switch in time that saved nine, that President Franklin Roosevelt, after winning re-election in 1937, came up with his court placking plan because he was so angry that the court kept saying that some of his New Deal program was unconstitutional, and Roosevelt had the idea that the entire original meaning of the Constitution was irrelevant in light of our 150 years of national experience since then, and basically whatever he thought was a good idea was, therefore, was by definition constitutional. And that as Roosevelt announced this court packing plan, one justice, Owen Roberts, uh, got scared and caved in and switched sides, and therefore then Roosevelt got everything he wanted, and uh, it showed you could intimidate the court. The sad thing is, because Chief Justice Owen Roberts, like the other justices of the court at the time, kept the rules, court's rules of confidentiality, we know that this never happened. In the famous case, it was about whether state minimum wage laws were constitutional. Chief Justice Owen Roberts did change his mind on that issue, but his vote in that case of West Coast Hotel versus Parish was done in the court's conference long before Roosevelt's court packing plan was announced, even though the decision came out after the court packing plan was announced. Chief Justice Owen Roberts simply decided that the doctor the court had been using, something called liberty of contract, which dated back to the 1890s, just didn't work anymore. It had too many loopholes in it and exceptions, and it was sort of in tension with itself. And he just said, I'm just giving up on this whole concept. I'm not going to enforce liberty of contract. It's out the window, and since there's no liberty of contract problem anymore because I don't like this doctor, then the state minimum wage law is OK. Whether or not you agree with his change of mind, he had a genuine intellectual change of mind, as justices can and, and should sometimes. He didn't cave in to the Roosevelt court packing plan. And yet today, if the media reports about what happened are true, it was this Justice Roberts who was the one who gave up on what he considered to be the correct interpretation of the Constitution and was coerced by another president who thought that the Constitution meant whatever the president thinks it should mean and can never ever limit this particular president's power to accomplish whatever his political objectives are. And this time, there really was a Justice Roberts who caved in to anti-constitutional, and this time successful, effort to coerce the judiciary against doing its duty to enforce the Constitution of the United States.